Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use paint on actions. Uh, and the set that I'm going to be working with today is the MB Brush Pack. Now this one can be a little bit confusing because it's called the Brush Pack, but it's not actually Photoshop brushes, they're just brush on actions. So hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, basically you're going to install them and run them just like you would run a regular Photoshop action um, and then I'll show you how we're going to apply them in just a little bit. So if you need to know how to install them you can go to window actions this will make this little box here pop up um, then hit this top right button the little downward facing arrow and the horizontal lines select load actions from the menu and then navigate to wherever you saved this pack click this file and then hit load. I'm going to hit cancel since I already loaded mine. Um, and then once you've loaded them, they'll pop up right here. And this pack has seven brushes inside. And so today I'll show you how to use them on a photo. So um, this photo has already been edited with these brushes. So I'm going to show you the before and after. I'm just going to alt click this background layer. That's the before and this is the after. So we've kind of just added a little color. And now you don't necessarily have to go super drastic with these. Um, you can use them really subtly, you can use them really dramatically, that choice is up to you. So I'm going to turn all those back off and I'll show you where we started from. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete all these, or actually let me do a quick run through first. Uh, the first one that I used is called the Magic Brush and this one is for skin smoothing. Um, on kids it kind of cleans up those little crusties or, that always seem to happen with kids on their face. Um, but yeah, it's good for skin smoothing, um, just all that good stuff. The next one um, is the color brush, and this one enhances the colors that are already in the photo, and as you can see here, I've ran it over her cheeks and her lips and her hair, her eyes, um, so it doesn't add any new color, it just enhances the color that's already in the photo. Um, the next one is called the details brush, and this one sharpens and enhances um, wherever you paint it, and I've ran this one over her eyes, her brows, her hair, and her teeth. Um, and then the next one is called the Whiten Brush. She doesn't really need this one. She's got pretty pearly white teeth as it is, but I ran it anyway just to show you. So um, that's with that, without and with. Not too big of a difference on her, but this um, action can, you know, be pretty strong on, um, you know, any image that needs it. So the next one I did was makeup brushes. And now, as you can see, all these um, actions here so far have black layer masks. The next two. Um, you actually have to open these ones up and the black layer masks are inside. So I'll touch on all that in just a second. But with the makeup brushes, um, there's several layers inside. I will turn that on for you. I basically gave her some blush, a little bit bronzer, some um, lipstick, and then I enhanced like a smoky eye. And now again, this is um, a little bit more dramatic than you know a regular edit, but I just wanted to show the power of these brushes. Um, and then the next one is the contour brushes, and these ones are for brightening um, certain areas of the photo or adding um, shadows. So go ahead and turn that on for you. And here I just kind of used it to like boost her cheekbones here, add a little shadow under her chin. Um, so as you can see there, it's just, it just gives a little pop. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these, and I will show you step by step how I added them to the photo. So I'm just going to hit shift and click all those, delete them. So. Now we're back to square one. So the first one I used was the magic brush. You can use the details brush first if you actually I think, yeah, I'll do the details brush first. So we'll hit play on that one. And then in these actions, each one pops up with a little message to show you how to use them. Um, whenever you're done reading it, you can just hit stop. Um, now if once you get acquainted with these actions, if you want to delete those messages, all you have to do is click the little arrow next to the particular action, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says stop, and just select the stop layer and drag it to the trash can. And all that stop layer is is just that little message. So it um, will save you from having to read it or click on that message every single time it runs. So just a little tip. Okay, so um, now with each of these um, actions, they all have um, black layer masks, whether on the main layer or inside the group. Now, what a black layer mask is, is basically hiding whatever this effect is from your image. It's like a closed window. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab a paintbrush, you're going to set your color to white because you always want to use the opposite color, and then you are going to paint onto the image wherever you want to open the window or reveal the effect that you're applying. So. With the details brush, 
Um, I, I don't really like to use it at 100% opacity. A good starting number for me is always 30. So I'm just going to hit the 3 on my keyboard to put it at 30% opacity. Now remember, even if you choose 30% opacity, you can go over a certain spot more than once uh, to increase the effect in that area. So with this one, I'm just going to sweep it over her eyes here. Careful not to do too much over the whites because I don't want it to look too alien. Um, or alien at all, rather. That's not good. So I'm going to um, switch my color back to black and just remove a little bit from the white of her eye to make sure that it's not overly strong. When I'm done, I'll flip my color back to white and then I can keep painting. I'm going to go over her brows here, just enhance those a little bit. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay. And to adjust the size of my brush, I'm just using the left and right bracket keys. They're right next to the P on your keyboard. So I'm just going to sweep over her lips here. You can go over earrings, hair, anything, anywhere you want to draw attention to in the photo. Um, you can even go over the edge of the face just to really pull focus. And then once you're finished with that, you can move on to the next one. So after using the details brush, I'm going to click the magic brush and then just hit play. Now the magic brush is one for skin smoothing. Um, and then that's the one that I also recommend for, um, just basically cleaning up skin with little kids, you know, if they've got like dirty faces or something like that, not, not, not too dirty because some of that might need a little bit more intricate work. Um, but it really helps avoid having to clone a bunch of spots on your photo and then smooth on top of it. This one kind of just takes care of it in one sweep um, and, you know, gets the job done a lot quicker. So I'm going to zoom in a little here. Again, she doesn't really need this one either, but I'm going to show you um, how to apply it. And again, I'm using 30% opacity. Uh, the lower opacity you use, the more subtle the effect is that you're applying, um, and the more believable it is if you build up and go over that spot more than once. Um, if you want to go straight to 100, be my guest, but um, just remember that it, it's, a, it's a lot, uh, you have a lot less finesse when you use it at 100. So I definitely recommend building up and using a lower opacity. So here I'm just sweeping over different spots. Um, she's got a few beauty marks on her face, and I'm actually going to leave those alone and not go over those ones. But um, any other parts of the skin that you just want to give a little smoothness to, um, just sweep over. You can make your brush smaller to fit in different spots here. I'm going to go over her top lip and then over that spot there. That one's not permanent, so that one can go. quick over the forehead. Um, now a common mistake with skin smoothing is that people will work on the face and then leave it be, but if there's more skin showing in the photo, I like to just run it over those areas too to keep everything cohesive um, and natural looking. So I'm just going to smooth over these spots here. Um, there we go. Okay, so once you've used that one, actually you can make your brush smaller, you can sweep up here underneath the brow if you want. Um, anyway, yeah, you can go in-depth with this um, or stay as subtle as you'd like. So once you're finished with that brush, you can go on to the next one. Um, this one is called the Bold Brush. I'm going to hit play, and then that one will run. Again, with these little messages, it'll tell you how it can be used. Um, just hit stop, and then you'll be able to continue. So now the Bold Brush, I'm going to zoom out for this one, uh, basically just allows you to boost the contrast wherever you paint. Um, and sometimes this increases the color effect in certain areas. Um, I like to use it to kind of dramatize the backgrounds of photos, just give them a little bit more um, of a boost. So just paint it over wherever you want it. Um, again, you don't have to use all the brushes in the set. You can skip over the ones that you don't really need um, and move on along. So I'm just going to sweep that in a little. And then you can always do this over like lips or eyes or something like that, but I'm going to actually save that for the next couple of brushes. So the next one is called the color brush. I'm going to hit play on that one. And just hit stop. And if those little messages bother you, again, feel free to delete those, especially once you've gotten used to the actions and you already really know how to run them. They won't really serve you any good anymore, so you're welcome to delete those. So for the color rush, I'm actually going to lower my opacity a little bit more than 30, and I'm going to do that by hitting the 1 on my keyboard. So now I'm at 10%. So with this, I'm going to sweep it over her cheeks, and this isn't going to add any new color. Again, it's just going to increase the color that's already there. So it's going to make her skin tone just a little bit stronger in those spots, which basically just looks like she's a little bit flushed, you know, a little bit like blush on her cheeks or something like that. Um, 
with the color brush, you can go over lips here and eyes if you want to. Again, I only like to go over the iris. I don't really want to enhance the white of the eye too much. Um, I find that when I do, it just looks unrealistic and I end up not liking it. So I always have to go back and remove it later anyway. So I'll just be careful the first time through and then hopefully I won't have to do twice the work. So then you can sweep over her hair. You can even go back over the background with this. Um, if there's flowers in your photo, you can enhance the color of those. Um, yeah, you can go nuts with that if you want to. Um, so the next one is the whiten brush. Just hit play on that one. Again, she doesn't really need this, but um, for you know explanation purposes, I'll just show you how to use it. So with this one, I'm going to go back to my 30% opacity by hitting the 3 on my keyboard and just sweeping it over her teeth. Um, now, if you want to zoom in really close and be sure you don't get any on the lips, that's a good idea. I'm just sweeping it over quickly here um, just to show you. So there's that one. The next one is the makeup brush. So we'll hit play on that one and it's going to run several different actions. Again, it's going to give you a message. Hit stop. Um, now with this one, you'll notice this one has the white layer mask. Um, so don't be confused. Don't be scared. If you paint on this one, nothing's going to happen. What you want to do is click this little arrow over here and open it up to reveal all these other nifty actions underneath. So I like to just start um, wherever. I usually start at the bottom of the list and I just choose between the lip color here. Um, for her, I'm going to do red lips. And so to do that, just grab your same paintbrush. You can use white. Zoom in so you can get nice and close. And then I'm just going to paint this, make, make your brush as small as needed to get in there, paint this over. Now if you want to go at 100% opacity just to be able to see it, you can always lower the opacity of that full layer later, um, or you can start with your brush at a low opacity and just build up, whatever you prefer. So just fill that in there. Again, if I go out of the lines here, going to leave it for now, but you would want to flip your color back to black and just remove that there. So here we go. Paint this on the top lip now. Oops, went over her gums a little. So that would be a good time to switch to black and just remove it from that portion of the teeth and gums. So just to make the job look nice and neat. Okay, so from there, um, oh, also, quick tip. If you want to change the color of this, if you don't want fuchsia lips and you don't want red lips, by all means, just double click this little thumbnail here and you can choose any color you'd like. So, um, yeah, the possibilities there are really endless. So just go ahead and give that a try if you want um, and then hit OK when you're done and it will change the color of the lips. So I'm going to zoom out here so we can see. Um, now these layers do say they're for lips, but you can use this to paint blush on if you want to. I do have a blush layer in here, um, but again, you can change the colors or worry with that according to your photo. So I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger. My opacity is at 10% now, and I'm just going to sweep this over the balls of her cheeks. And I think that looks okay. Then the next layer is the bronzer blush. So I'm going to hit that one. Again, my opacity is still at 10%. And this one, I'm just going to sweep over her whole face. And this one's just going to kind of warm um, up the skin a little. You can sweep it over the cheeks again if you want a little bit more color. Um, that's up to you. And the last one is smoky eyes. Now this one just kind of darkens and enhances whatever area you're painting on. So sometimes it might look a little bit reddish. Not reddish, but a little bit warm if you're over a skin tone. Um, but again, feel free to double click that thumbnail and you can change the color to something different if you'd like. So my opacity is still set to 10%. And for this one, I'm going to start just by lining her eye and then lining the bottom. And again, you can go over this with, with as many strokes as you like to um, increase the effect. There we go. And then for a little bit more of a smoky eye. I'm just going to sweep up here onto the skin a little and add a little shadow. There we go. And you can also sweep this over her brows if you want to and just make those pop a little. Again, all of this is you know, a personal choice. If you don't like to go in depth with your edits, you know, this much, 
you really don't have to. Um, this is just to show you the power of the brushes and how far you could go if you wanted to. Um, so I'm going to zoom out here just a little. And then if you want to close this back up to save some space in your layers panel, just hit that little arrow again and those will um, close up. And then to see the before and after, just hit the little eyeball and so you see the changes that we made. Just add a little drama. And the last and final brush is the contour brush. This one, you just click it, hit play again, um, again with a little message. And this is another one just like the makeup brushes. It's got a white layer mask until you open it up, and then there's black layer masks inside. So with this one, I'm just going to select the highlight brush first. Just make sure you click on the black mask, grab your paintbrush, set to white, and then my brush is at 10% opacity. And with this, I just like to go over anywhere the um, highlights would naturally fall. So I'm just going to like brighten her cheeks here a little, um, pop those out a little bit. And you can run this down her nose a little if you want to. Anywhere you want to brighten, you can do a little on her chin. Um, and sometimes I get a little carried away with this one, but um, if you do, you can just come over here to opacity and just lower it later. So if you get a little crazy or heavy with it, you can always adjust later and fine tune it. So put a little bit more brightness there, a little bit more on her cheeks, and this just kind of gives it like a three-dimensional look if you see before and after. It just kind of boosts it up a little. Um, I also like doing this just under the brow bone. It's basically like makeup, just wherever you would contour with makeup. If you're a guy watching this video, it's okay if you don't have that knowledge. Just watch this and you'll learn. Okay, so the next one is the shadow brush. And I'm just going to make my brush a little bit bigger, but I'm going to stay at the same opacity. And she's got a little dimple here. So I'm just going to define that a little with some shadows. You can sweep underneath the cheekbones, underneath her jaw here. Um, anywhere you just want to um, reduce focus, basically. Uh, shadows kind of make your eye draw away from that area. So um, it also helps define. So if you want to go around the face here, um, on the neck, yeah, basically anywhere you want to darken. Um, you can even paint this uh, around the edges of a photo if you like a vignette kind of style. You can paint some shadow around the edge. It's kind of darken. Um, again, that's up to you. So whenever you're finished, you can close this up again um, to keep your layers panel neat. And so I will again show you the before and after. This was the original, and this was after our new brushes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can send me an email at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.